Please download Telugu Stop Android app in Play Store or iOS app in App Store and stay tuned to latest news as it happens. Hyderabad, February 8th, the Congress government in Telangana has said that it inherited a debt-ridden state. The people of Telangana had handed over a rich state to the previous government and after 10 years, they have handed over a debt-ridden state to us, said Governor Tamili C. Sondararajan in her address to the Joint Sitting of Legislative Assembly and Council on the first day of budget session. Slamming the previous BRS government, she said the white paper on finance released during the first session of the new assembly laid bare the incompetent and reckless manner in which the previous government managed public finance. She said that the immediate challenge is to improve the state's financial situation without burdening the people. The rebuilding process extends to institutions that have suffered in the last decade. We pledge to restore the core values of the legislature and executive, ensuring transparency, accessibility, and adherence to constitutional principles, she said. She stated that the recent elections marked a decisive moment, a collective call for change and equitable progress. The message was clear and resonant, the people of Telangana yearned for freedom, democracy, and governance that reflected their aspirations. I extend my appreciation for the collective wisdom of the people, whose verdict became the cornerstone for civil rights and democratic rule. She mentioned that Rikrisan Jyoti Bafule Praja Bhavan is now open for the public to access and ventilate their grievances. The Telangana government is now by the people, and for the people, she said. I commend Chief Minister Sri Anumula Ravant ready for articulating the government's commitment to serve as the people's servants in a true democracy. The Prajawani program, the government's first step in this direction, embodies the essence of people's governance, providing a platform for citizens to express their concerns and seek redressal, she said. The governor made it clear that the government is committed to realizing the six guarantees for the welfare and development of people. Two guarantees have already been implemented, showcasing the government's dedication. She mentioned that the government received over 1.28 crore applications during the Praja Palana program, and reiterated that all six guarantees will be implemented in a time-bound manner. She announced that two more guarantees will be implemented soon. Under the Mahalakshmi scheme, LPG cylinders will be supplied to eligible families for 500 rupees only. Similarly, under the Gruha Jyothi scheme, 200 units of free domestic power will be given to every eligible household. Our vision for Telangana encompasses various sectors, from irrigation projects like Palamuru Rangaredi to education, with the filling up of about 2 lakh jobs by our newly constituted TSPSC. The government is actively addressing land-related issues through the newly formed Dharani Committee, stating that the government is committed to welfare of farmers, she said through initiatives like Raitu Bharosa and Crop Loan Waiver. It aims to empower farming community with crop diversification programs, horticulture promotion, quality seeds, and advanced agricultural practices. The government has also decided to conduct a caste survey to gather data required to estimate the social, educational, economic, employment and political opportunities for various castes in general and BCs in particular. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to channel and click on bell for more daily videos.